after um, doing the mint um, essential oil, I had some ideas to improve the apparatus and I figured that I would use some of this frankincense which I had laying around to try to make frankincense um, oil. Same as last time, I'm going to need to pulverize it into uh, fine powder so that I can um, steam distill it more easily than the large chunks which will probably account for a lower yield. Here's the frankincense powder or um, chunks I suppose. I pulverized them using my mortar and pastel and um, it was quite difficult um, to some extent because as you can see by like a few of these little pieces they're fairly bendy or resinous that, and that's because it's frankincense is literally tree sap from the gum olibanum tree and um, what these are is they were essentially um, tiers of sap or basically they take um, some sort of tool and scratch the bark of the tree and thus um, open up the, uh, the allowing the sap to come through and it hardens on the outside as a resin tier which can then be collected and then hardens over time and then that's how you get this really good quality um, grade A frankincense. So now I'm going to set up the apparatus and we can start the steam distillation. So from last time the only main differences are up here there is not an addition funnel which is my separatory funnel that I was using as an addition funnel last time and in its place is a cap and um, I'm not collecting in a round bottom flask because by doing that and then transferring that liquid into the separatory funnel uh, is where I think a lot of the wetting of the glass actually happened. So by literally distilling the oil and water directly into um, the uh, separatory funnel, I think I should be able to have a lot better yield. So while this is heating up, um, I'm not gonna videotape and I'll just show as the first drops start coming over. So I've spent a few hours making um, minor adjustments here and there to the temperature and um, where I'm adding foil um, insulation because what was happening was um, with foil around the bottom here, the bubbles um, like you see here were beginning to travel over through the distillation which was a big issue and so I ended up um, having to collect a little bit of um, the fur like bubbly stuff in that uh, thousand milliliter flask over there and I ended up pouring it back in here so it could redistill back over but um, besides the point I now have uh, effective um, foil insulation which is allowing the oils to come over um, probably won't be able to see in any of these droplets let me see if I can get the camera to focus yeah you, you can't really see them but um, in person, I can see that there's a difference um, between the oil and the water, and obviously as it's coming over and filling up the separatory funnel, um, we have a little bit better separation than last time. Um, there are some oil droplets on the side, although if I tap them, um, they go up to join the upper layer. They still are having a little bit of an issue um, coalescing together, but... Um, I think that problem might fix itself as they get more oil. Uh, I think last time the amount of oil that came over too was um, so minute that it was really hard for it to have any um, surface tension or attraction to itself. And so um, I'll let this continue and show the final yield of uh, what comes over. So, I mean, while I was waiting, I decided to let out some of the supernate liquid, or I mean, which was, uh, you know, below the the oil layer, and you can see that the oil layer coalesced together. And I mean, it's not very big, but that's a decent amount of oil. And I was looking at this, and this is it's extremely aromatic. It's um, it's pretty interesting. So, and it doesn't necessarily have any oil on the surface um, which makes it also interesting that it's aromatic so it must have some um, volatile esters or something um, contained within the, the resin which um, I don't know that's quite interesting I think and the distillation is still going well and I think I could probably even um, manage to leave this overnight 
uh, cause it's getting kind of late now and check on it in the morning because I the drip rate is slowing up I don't think it'll fill up 250 milliliters in um in just a couple hours okay uh, I've let the distillation go for about an entire day now and we've collected a pretty um, substantial amount of oil it may not look like it here but this is quite a bit um, so now I'll turn off the distillation and collect the oil all right here we go now we can let the water that's sitting below um, the oil out and I think I called it a uh, supernatant liquid earlier which is incorrect because it's actually um, I believe um, called hydrosol when it's below an oil like this so and then supernatant liquid would be above which would be the oil anyways but let the water out a little slow so we don't lose any oil droplets that are wetted on the side of the glass Oh, whoops, there goes a the camera. Fix that. Have to hold it. Slow down a little bit. Do do do, and almost got it. One more drop. There goes a little bit of oil, perfect. Now, there is our final yield of oil. And that's pretty good from one pound. So now, um, I'm gonna go grab a marker real quick. All right, so I've just made a little blue line here, um, which shows about where our oil is um, in here. So now, um, what I can do, um, is pull this oil out and then take water and put an amount of water until it fills up right till there and then I can release that into a beaker um, with a, gradu or a graduated cylinder and we can tell how much oil we were actually able to extract. Got our essential oil in our collection tube here and now for the moment of truth. Release the stopcock into the, gradu the little graduated cylinder here and we'll be able to tell how much oil we got. So, I'm going to say that's pretty close to six um, milliliters because um, there's some stuff wetting the side of the glass here and not all of it ended up making it through the stopcock. Some of it got stuck inside here. So, um, oh, it looks like it spilled a little bit as well. All right, so let's call that. So six I just wanted to compare grams. the price on um, industrial oil, produced oil, which is forty six dollars, and the oil I was able to produce for about twelve dollars here. Definitely a much more successful yield than with the vent, the mint in my last um, essential oil video. I think that. Um, distilling directly into the um, uh, separate separatory funnel is the way to go and um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed